I haven't played Fire Emblem in over a year. Has Fire Emblem become irrelevant? Has Fire Emblem failed? Are we going into a Fire Emblem dormancy period? Is Fire Emblem dying? Am I dying? Naturally, the answer to all these questions is a big fat yes. But why is it a yes, and what's going on with Fire Emblem? Ladies, gentlemen, and weapon triangles of all ages, welcome back to another video. I know, I know, I keep coming back and disappearing, and if you want to know why, I'll leave that at the end of the video, but today, let's talk about the future of Fire Emblem. Before I start, though, I want to direct your attention to a stream we're doing on Speedyhawk's channel on Fridays at 9pm EST. I'll, I made a community post about it, and I'll link the video in the description for you guys to look into, so I hope to see you there. Having said that, it feels insane that it's been forever since we've had any Fire Emblem related news. I know it's only been a little bit over a year and I'm a drama queen, but just a year ago we were knee deep into Fire Emblem Engage's release and its DLC. I know myself and a lot of other creators really enjoyed playing Engage when it came out, but we noticed that very quickly the hype and conversation around the game nosedived like it was Chapter 9 of Fire Emblem Awakening. If you know, you know. So what's going on with Fire Emblem? And what do I think is on the horizon? Feel free to let me know what you guys think in the comments because I'm actually genuinely interested to hear sort of what the market research out there is about, you know, Fire Emblem these days. I've been a little bit out of touch. Anyways, let's start with the first half of that question. What is going on with Fire Emblem? Ironically, I suppose we can start off with Fire Emblem Awakening, which marked the start of a decade-long prosperity for Fire Emblem. It had a fierce new marketing campaign, was on Nintendo's hot new handheld console, and was made as a last hurrah, final celebration to an all-but-dead series. Awakening was a smash hit. Pun intended, it got three characters in Smash Bros. And it was quickly followed by Fates two years later, Echoes and Heroes two years after that, and Three Houses two years after those. Every single one of those games had a healthy life cycle of gameplay, story and character discussion, some going on even to this day, and it created a sense of community where people were invested. I suppose it's time for a bit of lore and a blast from the past, so story time. I started playing Fire Emblem in 2003 with the release of Blazing Sword in the West, and I'd never seen anything like it. Granted, back then I was still a small young weapon triangle that didn't know much about using the internet, but soon after, I joined the online discussions in 2006, and it was all quite similar then to how it was in the post-Awakening era. You could find countless threads on GameFAQs discussing what was termed as Neo Fire Emblem, quote unquote, whatever that means. Lots and lots of tier lists and challenge runs being posted, and you had a lot of ROM hacks and early content creators out there doing their thing as well. I know I'm diving into the history here, but the parallels will make sense in a bit, I promise. The point of what I'm saying is, that this decade of prosperity isn't something we haven't seen before. Those of us who are old and senile enough, like myself, lived through a similar, albeit smaller scale, of online boom for Fire Emblem that, like I said before, took its nosedive with one very specific game. Shadow Dragon. Shadow Dragon was boring. And before you crucify me in the comments, I don't mean it in the literal sense. The game was actually fun to play, and I'll be controversial and say I loved the online PvP so much, I created entire playthroughs purely building for that specifically. But the plot was standard, the characters were cardboard, one-dimensional and irrelevant, the animations were kinda ugly, and the music was also pretty standard. What Shadow Dragon did was that it made Fire Emblem die. Ironic. Marth could keep others from dying, but not himself. And before I go all Darth Plagueis the Wise on you and call this Fire Emblem's greatest tragedy, actually that would be a great title for a video, I'll write that down later. But anyways, back to my point, Shadow Dragon kind of threw us into a lull period. And what made matters worse was that New Mystery of the Emblem never came out in the West either, which made this feel insanely long. At that point, those of us who were online at the time spent a lot of our free hours playing through the old games as well as a bunch of ROM hacks. I remember this pretty distinctly since that's exactly when I ended up playing through FE4 and FE5 for the first time. You had to fill in the gap somehow as a Fire Emblem fan. Looping back to Engage, the discussion around this game has mostly evolved into discourse about how it was a bad game. The story and characters were uninteresting and provided no means for long-term discussion. The music was kind of bland. And although I really enjoyed the gameplay, I think a lot of the more casual fanbase that picked up Three Houses 
preferred the style of play there. But the one thing from all of these that I agree with is that the lifespan of this game's relevance was abnormally short. It feels like we got a rushed dead end game that didn't have that long term depth to keep the fans talking about it. Heck, I still see Three Houses discussion online, but nowhere to be seen is Engage. And that's kind of a shame. So where do we go from here? Well, I think that's a great question, and there's definitely always a lot to be said when it comes down to what the next Fire Emblem game will be. Probably enough to go into its own separate video, so maybe I'll do that next. But I think the fact of the matter is, Fire Emblem needs a brand new game. Not a remake, not an anniversary title with a bunch of nostalgia, but a title that can stand alone without appealing to the past and the nostalgia and the history and the older player base. We need something completely unique, something that will do what Three Houses did. And I know FE4 fans, trust me, I want that remake to see things burn in HD as much as the rest of us, but I also want it to be seen by as many people as possible, for it to be experienced by as many people as possible. And for that, we need to find the Dragon Balls. And with the Dragon Balls, we need to bring Fire Emblem back in the eyes of those who have been absent from our scene for a while. And I think we're in a good position for this, honestly. I know the rumors have been going around for a while that Nintendo is getting ready to unveil a new Switch 2, quote unquote, whatever that is. We've gotten like a bunch of specs from people who have developer kits and all that stuff. It looks like it's going to be a cool, cool thing, good time. But I can't think of any better way than to kick that off with a Fire Emblem title on launch or even shortly after that. So to kind of go back to the title of this video, is Fire Emblem dying? Yeah, it is. But I think with all things, there's generally an ebb and flow, and I expect it to bounce back soon enough. But if you guys disagree, then let me know in the comments below. On a personal note, it's honestly been good for me since I spent the most of my last 12 months working over 100 hours a week. So if you're wondering why I've been away, I've literally just been working. But I'm out of that slave labor job now, I've moved and I'm settling in nicely into a new city so hopefully you'll see more of me very soon. Like I mentioned in the intro, we're doing a Fire Emblem co-op run of Sacred Stones on Speedy Hawk's stream on Fridays, 9pm EST. It's hard to describe in just the end of a video, but there's three of us and we're trying to clear Sacred Stones while also competing with each other using our own teams of units and a different rule set. So there's a draft video on his channel, again link in the description below. Um, go to the video comment team door block to support me. And yeah, that's enough ramble from me. I'll see you all in a new video very soon. Peace.